to hear like uh, actually shooting right in front of my house is like crazy. And I really hate, I really hate living right here right now. I just don't even want to go home. That's how bad it is. On Tuesday afternoon, 38th near West Jefferson Street, becoming the site of the city's latest shooting. Around two, a teen was hit multiple times, including once in the head. Barely breathing, he was rushed to University Hospital in critical condition. It's the very street where James White lives with his mother, and he rushed home after getting a frantic call. She said she heard six shots. I watched her soap opera. She said she didn't get up and move. And like I say, it's scary because it's in front of it, across from your house, right back in front of it. The victim in this case, just 17 years old. It's why Norm Martin and Dr. Eddie Woods from the anti-violence group No More Red Dots went to the scene, unsure if the teen was one of the hundreds they had mentored over the years. It's a real good chance that we know who it is uh, or have had some, some association with his family, you know. It's rough. It's very rough. What we try to do is eliminate that. You know? And it makes me understand there's more, a lot more work for us to do out here in the streets, though. In a year that has seen nearly 400 shootings and 100 homicides with younger and younger victims, neighbors were left wondering not only who, but why. To hear they're young and it's like, wow, like what can they have done? They're walking down the street, you know? It's crazy to me. It's senseless. Rick, Vicki, several of the neighbors we talked to this afternoon reported hearing a car speeding off around the time of the shooting. But at this point in the investigation, it's unclear whether or not this was a drive-by. So far, no suspects have been identified. Reporting live tonight from LMPD headquarters, I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News.